Hello to my beautiful painting family. My name is Christine. Thanks for joining me today to see where I am with this month's edition of Pan That Palette. I have been working on the Naked Palette since last December, and it's the only palette that I've been using for the entire year, and I'm just really excited and pleased with where I am with this month's progress. So I will show a clip of last month's progress right here. All right, so this is where I am for the September updates. As you can see, I reached both of my goals by hitting pan on Dark Horse and Gunmetal. So let me go ahead and flip you around so you can see the dips. Overall, I've been really, really enjoying this palette for the year. This is going to be finishing up month 10 for me. And as you can see, not anywhere near close to finishing up this palette. I would imagine that if I were to try to attempt that, it would probably take two and a half years would be my estimate. Now, if you are new to my channel, you may not know that because of my job, I cannot wear makeup every day, so my progress is a lot slower than lots of the girls that are able to wear makeup on a more consistent basis, but I gotta say, like, I'm really just very impressed with what persistence and consistency can do to a palette. I mean, that is a lot of damage, and I'm really pleased with that. I wanted to take a little bit of extra time this month to discuss how I've been using these shades. I know lots of times I kind of get discouraged or I feel like my viewers aren't really interested in what I think about the palette, how I'm using the palette, you know, I feel like they're just interested in seeing the progress and um, not really interested in the process. And I know that might not always be the case because I know I personally am very interested in what you guys think about your palettes and your progress and your, your process and how your thoughts are changing and I thought you know if I'm interested in it then you guys are probably interested in it too. So how I hit pan on Dark Horse was by layering sin as you can see that dip is quite a bit bigger and I was putting that all over the lid and then I was lightly dusting Dark Horse on over that and it actually created this really really beautiful taupe color. If you guys are familiar with Urban Decay's mushroom I want to say it looked similar to that. Now granted I, I didn't you know have mushroom on one eye and then that combination on the other eye to kind of see how similar they were but it really created this gorgeous taupe color that I really enjoyed and I wore that a lot throughout this past month and gunmetal isn't I mean the it, there's a baby pan in there so I still have quite a ways to go in that to make it large enough where I would be satisfied with its use I've actually been using it a lot with toasted and uh, today I actually used it with sidecar and I have just been putting it on the outer half of the lid with those two shades layered underneath and I think it creates a beautiful smoky effect and I would even feel comfortable wearing this to work if um, I was working a day that would allow me to wear makeup. But um, actually I've been enjoying both of these colors quite a bit. I thought both of them would be the bane of my existence during the course of painting this palette and yes they have been a challenge but I really have enjoyed the looks that I've created with them. They've forced me to be more creative with my looks. Now the the last couple that I still don't have pan in as you can see are Buck and Creep. Now Buck is extremely tightly packed and I am using it every single day in my crease and nothing is happening to this. I mean, I'm pretty sure that I can use this for the remainder of the year and you still wouldn't be able to tell a difference. I think the only way that I would be able to hit pan is by multitasking it. And at this point, I'm not sure I'm really willing to do that only because I have so many other products that are used for their intended purposes, like bronzers, like highlighters. 
Um, and those products in my collection are also on the older side and I would like to use them for their intended purpose rather than trying to hit pan on this, um, on this shade. I don't know if some of you might disagree with me, but that's just how I'm choosing to not use this, you know, not use Buck in that way. And Creep, as I had mentioned before, I just really don't use black eyeshadow very much. And I, it's just not something that I gravitate towards. And I have used it in the outer corner to deepen up the look. I feel like that is a little bit too dramatic for an everyday workplace. And I don't really go out much at night. So it just doesn't get a lot of love from me. But that's okay. I feel like, I feel like so far, I've pretty much hit my goals for this palette. Um, I know originally I said that my goal was to hit pan in every single shade, but seeing where I am, and this is month 10, and I haven't decided if I'm going to continue through December or if I'm going to stop on December 1st since I started using this on December 1st, but either way, I don't really think a month is going to make that much of a difference, especially in Buck. So I guess in that sense, I haven't hit my goal and I don't think I'm going to, but that isn't going to stop me from trying. So for the coming month of October, it's getting cooler. At least it's supposed to get cooler today. The forecast says that it's going to be in the 90s. So that's pretty much summer weather, but I'm kind of feeling like I kind of want to move into the cooler tones in this palette. So I want to focus more on sidecar. And even though toasted is actually a rosy color and kind of warm, I feel like it's really fitting for this season. And then also, um, I kind of work on, want to work on sin a little bit more as well. So those I want to work on as my main lid colors. And then I want to kind of play around with gunmetal and I'll, oh gosh, and I will really try to incorporate creep a little bit more into my looks. I really have to make a concerted effort to do that just because it's not something that I really ever think of using. So maybe on my days off and I'm playing around, um, I'll use that a little bit more. As far as goals are concerned, I really would like to work on this bottom portion of Virgin right here. You can kind of see that. Yeah, yeah, there's a little bit there. Now, I don't use Virgin all that much. I use it just as a brow bone highlight and an inner corner highlight. However, I know this month I will be traveling. So again, I will only take this palette, no bronzer. So I'll go ahead and use Buck as a bronzer and Virgin as a highlighter. So I think I'll be able to make a little more progress that way. In Naked, I would like to work on this top portion here. I do use a big fluffy brush, so that's why the pan is a lot larger than the other shades. I use a stiff, a dense stiff brush in those and so that's why the pan shapes and sizes are very similar but this one I just use a different brush. And just getting that pan expanded on gunmetal I think I will be a very happy camper if I were to obtain all of those goals. Yeah, so I think that's going to be about it for this month's edition of Pan That Palette, September 2017. I will be including my photo progression slideshow at the end of the video, so if you are interested in checking that out, stick around for a little bit longer. And I hope that your Pan That Palette challenges are going swimmingly, and I hope you're doing well in life. And wherever you are, I know if you're in the South and you've been hit by those hurricanes and you're having a hard time, just know that I'm thinking about you, I'm praying for you, and sending much love. I'll talk to you later. Bye.